Perhaps you've seen this on the internet. This bottle of water instantly freezes. And this bottle instantly makes ice. So how many bottles of water would it take to create the world's largest reverse icicle? Probably not that many actually, because I'm pretty sure we're the first ones ever attempting that record. Yes. Yes, you are. But we're gonna crush that record. So everybody knows if you get water down to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it freezes. Or does it? When water freezes, hmm, it needs what is known as a nucleation site. It's this particular site that water crystals form around. And under normal conditions, water has plenty of tiny bits of dust, little particles, and minerals that create great nucleation sites. Just wanna let you know, it was me who ate the leftover pizza. <clears throat> Just had to get that off my chest. However, if you have purified or distilled water, now you have water that is just, well, water, nothing else, including any of those tiny particles that make good nucleation sites. And now, since you have nothing for water crystals to form around, you can cool this very pure water down an extra 87 degrees, all the way to negative 55 degrees Fahrenheit, which, by the way, is the average temperature of the South Pole. And if we have this super cooled water, let's say, in a bottle and strike it against the surface, the energy generated from the hit is just enough to create a crystal. And that crystal will act as a nucleation site, allowing more ice crystals to form in a chain reaction of freeziness. Or freezing. Okay, fine. Water that instantly freezes. Phew. Another way to get instant ice from your super cooled water is, well, just put it on ice. The super cooled water uses the existing ice as a nucleation site and boom, instant ice or instant reverse icicle. So in order for us to create our world record reverse icicle, which is a mouthful in itself, we're gonna need to super cool some water. We have a freezer over here, which is cooling our water down to about a negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we put the water in there and had it cool for three hours. Now once that water has been cooled for three hours, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna bring it over here to our reverse icicle grill of science. Arr, arr. And we're gonna put some dry ice on top of this area which I've actually drilled holes into so that the water can drain out of. We're then going to take a cookie sheet that already has ice on top of it and slowly drop our super cold water onto our cookie sheet of ice and build up a reverse icicle all the way to our world record. Let's do it. So tonight was a miserable failure. Both of our option one and option two did not work out. We did not super cool any water, although we did have some that worked, but that's because we used the freezer that was inside of Jesse's house. That's an instant freeze. All right, it's game on. Pulling out the uh, dry ice so that all of the water that we put on here stays frozen because it's kind of in that in-between phase because when something freezes, uh, the actual reaction of something freezes releases heat. So we have to counter that with dry ice in order to build our Guinness Book of World Records largest reverse icicle. Let's do it. So this will be our second bottle. Hopefully it works a little better than our first. Our first one was kind of a dud. All right, yeah, the second one's way better. <laughs> it looks like he's slowly dying. <laughs> so we're just gonna add this dry ice to our overall mix just so we keep what we've already made. Gonna chill everything out. So this is number four.
<laughs> Not as cold as I would like. Our reverse icicle is looking a little weak here. It's looking like frosty. Kind of bit the dust. It's out in the sun a little too long. Let's see if we can get anything from this one. I don't think this is quite chilled enough. No. I think that's currently the world's largest reverse icicle. But we can do better. That's not bad. When ice is formed, it releases heat, which is why we're sort of battling this slushy-like icicle. So the sound that you're hearing is the bubbling that's happening when the dry ice is hitting the water. And so I think on this last one, we're gonna break the record. I am really thankful that this is working right now. I am in total in love with this creation. That is a reverse icicle. That is by far the world's largest reverse icicle. That's pretty awesome. So we still have one more bottle to go. I mean, that, that kind of looks like coral. I'd say that's probably about a foot. That's, that's a foot tall reverse icicle created from super cooled water. We've done it, people. We have created the largest reverse icicle in the world. And so like all tall structures in the world, you must put an antenna on it and celebrate. So on this day, uh, what is today? We have created the world's first and largest reverse icicle from super cold water. That's our celebration.